Good morning. It is early in the morning. I've been journaling and I thought I would just film a very off the cuff video. I love kind of doing these, even though I would love to come on camera and be cute all the time. I feel like sometimes we just have to show up as we are. And I just kind of felt the need to hit record because I was sitting here thinking about my own life and things I'm learning. And I was like, I feel like this could be a little bit useful to some of you as well. I tend to do this thing where when I have maybe negative feelings or I'm experiencing something, I tend to run with the stories that are going on in my head. And I think we all kind of do this a little bit. Like our mind will tell us or convince us that we are sad or that we are going through it right now or that we are happier it'll even tell us about our identity right we're kind of taught or we're we're constantly seeing online all these different aesthetics and identities and these energies that we want to embody maybe for the summer or maybe for the year and i feel like it's super easy to cling on to these stories cling on to these identities and attach ourselves to them and honestly i think that's a part of the human experience like, i think we're meant to experience these emotions but i think it's important to remember that although we are blessed with this human experience to be able to experience the full spectrum of these things we are also put here as spiritual beings strip away your identity strip away what you think about yourself strip away what you look like and you are a spiritual being that was put here to remember and to experience what love is at your core your being your essence is love it's divinity it's love it's pure magic it's something that we can't even fully put into words because it's so complex and so beyond our earthly understanding and so us being here in these human bodies in these human suits we get a chance to experience the full spectrum of what it means to love we wouldn't be able to experience love without having things in our life maybe struggles maybe sadness maybe hard times and people that are put in our lives to, to come here and challenge us. We wouldn't be able to experience love unless we experience every emotion that comes in between it in that spectrum. Just remember that these stories, these things that you're telling yourself, however you feel like you're maybe feeling today, it doesn't have to be something that you carry on with you long term. I think life becomes a lot more fun and enjoyable and we kind of align more to our purpose in this human experience as soon as we are able to look at the stories that our mind tells us and let them go sooner rather than later because typically what happens is we hold on to these stories for a long period of time and again we make them a part of our identity like i am sad or i am happy or i am this kind of person or i am a spiritual person that again is a part of the human experience we're meant to be having fun experiencing playing in these different identities and emotions and feelings but again remember that your essence your core is divinity it is source energy and as soon as you separate yourself from all the stories that your mind is telling you as soon as you learn how to disattach yourself sooner from them life becomes a lot more enjoyable you're able to slip into these different experiences slip into these different thoughts and emotions and x y and z a lot more with a lot more ease knowing that again these things are all temporary every emotion that you feel is temporary every thought that you have is temporary you are the observer of your thoughts you are not your thoughts and so therefore you have the chance you have the ability at any time when your mind is maybe telling you that you are not worthy or that you are a failure that you're not doing enough or that x whatever when your mind is telling you those things you always have the ability to switch up your energy you always have the ability to say you know what yeah, you're telling me that right now, but like, I'm good. Like, I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go out and have fun. I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna meditate and I'm gonna watch you pass by because it really is like, this is a really good thing to maybe picture while you're meditating if you kind of struggle to disassociate yourself from the thoughts that you're having. Your thoughts are like a, it's as if you're like a mountain and your thoughts are like a cloud or a bird that are passing by. They're nothing but passerbyers. They're going to eventually go away. They are always temporary. And your the, what we've been blessed with as spiritual beings, our like secret power, like our magic, is that we are able to observe those things rather than believe them to be true. And if you're going through any kind of hard time or if you're just struggling with 
disassociating yourself from all these human and earthly things, it's okay. It's okay if you've been feeling a certain way or you've been holding on to a certain thought or a certain emotion or a certain identity that you've assigned to yourself for a long period of time. You don't have to, you don't even have to beat yourself up or harp over this this I, this concept in itself. I think typically what we do, especially as spiritual beings, as we're starting to discover these things, I'm sure most of you have probably heard all of this before. What we typically do is as soon as we start going in a direction that we don't necessarily like or that we don't necessarily see as spiritual, we tend to get mad at ourselves and we tend to beat up on ourselves. Your job here is to not rush whatever experience that you're having. Your job here is to, as soon as you can, come back to the truth of who you are and accept all that has ever happened to get you here. I think the key to being present is to not harp over, to obsess over, get mad at yourself about what has happened over the past 24 hours of the past six months you're here now as a being and you always have the choice in this exact moment to decide who it is that you want to be you always have the choice in this exact moment to look at the stories look at the thoughts that your mind is trying to tell you and decide which way you want to go the experience that we're having here on this earth the full spectrum of emotions whether they be good or bad whether they be you going on your yoga mat and meditating and feeling connected to divinity or whether it be you going down to the bars with your friends and shaking your ass and getting as drunk as possible that full spectrum of the human experience is useful in your spiritual growth it is useful in you coming back to and remembering who you are in reality when we attach ourselves too tightly to these identities we often end up causing ourselves more pain than we are meant to be having because again this life experience is about slipping into and slipping out of and enjoying every spectrum of the human experience it's about embracing every single thing that you're feeling right now it's about watching a observing but from a kind perspective welcoming in the full spectrum of your emotions the full spectrum of all the different things that your mind is telling you watch it with a warm smile give it a wave if you're experiencing this week some sadness sit there in that sadness don't fight it don't try to get it to go away don't yell at it and say you are not me why am i why are you here why am i stuck with you right now give it time sit with it have a conversation with it and then eventually it'll go away. Let it go, let it pass. Same thing with every experience that you are having on this earth. I know I tend to get really caught up in these like different identities that I kind of see myself as. Like I sometimes feel like I'm like, hot girl vibes and I want to go out and I want to party and I want to have fun with my friends and I want to shake my ass. But then sometimes I wake up the next morning, I'm like, how dare I think I can do that, but also go onto my yoga mat and then connect with source in this moment when I was just, when I'm still hungover right now. But in reality, it's like you get to decide what human experience you are having. You get to decide what it is that makes you feel the most connected to source. So I feel like as soon as you let go of these narratives around who you should be, what you should be doing what you should be thinking what your mind what your thoughts should look like and again you let those thoughts you let those experiences you let those emotions come and go without attaching yourself to them super tightly as soon as you can start doing that life becomes so much more fun it becomes so much easier and again you are going to feel way more connected to love to source to divinity than you have ever felt because you'll you'll be okay with that you'll embrace and you'll welcome in every experience in this human life. You are experiencing the world that you have created for yourself. Design this life to benefit you and who you are. Go out, have fun, connect with your body, breathe deeply, find gratitude for every single experience that you are having, whether it be good or bad, laugh at it, learn to laugh at every single thing that life throws your way. And I promise you, you will fall in love with life. You will be able to remember your divinity and who you are. And more than anything, you'll come back to your purpose here on this earth. So yeah, that was just a little bit of a reminder for today. I feel like this was not a very structured video and I just ended up rambling for literally 24 minutes. And I'm gonna somehow have to cut this down to make this a little bit more digestible. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this was helpful in some way. I love you guys. I hope you guys are having an amazing day, an amazing week, an amazing month. I hope you guys are having an amazing start to your summer. Y'all, it is summer. 
like i don't know about y'all but the mood that i'm in right now is like i'm just here to have fun like i'm really just here to have fun but yeah thank you guys so much for tuning in and i will see you guys in the next video Bye. I want to thank today's video sponsor, which is Squarespace. You guys know I love working with Squarespace because they are literally the one-stop shop for you to build an online presence. They have everything that you might need from payment features to third-party extensions. They even have amazing website templates. So if you are trying to build any kind of online personal brand, Squarespace is the place for you. I will, of course, leave a link to them down below where you guys can get 10% off of your first purchase with them. And thank you again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Thank you.